Well, today, President Biden urged lawmakers to reinstate an assault weapons ban uh, and also a ban on high-capacity magazines as lawmakers uh, continue to grapple with gun control. This is the photo of my mom. And Robin Brule pleaded with lawmakers to take action. No family should have to get that call that I got from police five years ago. The worst call in the world. Her mother was shot and killed five years ago. The gunman purchased a firearm online without a background check. The Senate hearing on common sense steps to reduce gun violence comes less than 24 hours after the mass shooting in Colorado. Democrats want to close the internet and gun show loopholes and to reinstate a ban on assault weapons. Republicans call it theater and say punish criminals, not law-abiding gun owners. And the thing that I worry about is that this is a time when you think that we would all come together on something that's common sense and makes progress, but it tends to be the time to where we go into our corners and we make no progress. North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis supports the Cruz Grassley bill. That would criminalize straw purchases of firearms and give dealers access to the FBI's stolen gun database. He opposes red flag laws, which would allow the court to take away someone's gun if a family member feels they're a danger to themselves or others. Without any due process uh, to be initiated by persons outside of law enforcement, they don't make sense to me. Gun violence claimed more than 40,000 lives last year. Democrats like Congresswoman Alma Adams call it a public health crisis and supports universal background checks and a ban on assault rifles. We've uh, heard thoughts and prayers almost two years ago after the tragedy right here in Charlotte, uh, after El Paso, and, you know, we need to move on now. We need action, and, and we need to not just talk about it, but we need to be about it. Congresswoman Adams also supports closing the so-called Charleston loophole. The Emanuel AME shooter uh, was able to buy a gun, uh, even though his criminal history made him ineligible. That was because of a loophole that allows gun dealers uh, to sell you a gun uh, after three days if the FBI has not completed its criminal background check. We're live in Charlotte, Matt Grant, Fox 46.